Hi everyone, it's Karen from Desco Artistry, and today we are using up some leftover paint I had from a previous pour. I have this video sped up quite a bit um, because you will see I have uh, lots of little pieces of dried paint I need to pull out of what I just flipped. So stick with me till the end. You will see all the different techniques that I used to create this piece as well as the finished resin product. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Chicago has been having a really bad cold spell and you can see throughout this video that I keep trying to get the paint to work with me, but unfortunately it is cold in my craft room and it was being very, very stubborn. These paints do not have any oil mixed into them. It is um, just water and paint. Still picking out those dried pieces. So frustrating. And I'm using a little bit of the drip paint just to try to stretch this along. This piece ended up being such a surprise in the end, and I absolutely love how it turned out. Um, every piece you do is in some way a learning experience, because with fluid art, you're never really able to recreate what you've done previously. So each piece is a new learning experience for all of us. Uh, I like to share my successes as well as my failures because I think everybody can learn from both. Don't worry about colors used. I will list them all out in the description below. And I promise this does get better in the end. Stick with me. You can see how the paint's moving. It's just like molasses. And it's really not the consistency, as I've said. Um, it just, it's cold. I think we might have had a wind chill of negative 14 <laughs> the day I made this. So um, all those living in the northern tundra, uh, I sympathize with you. And you can see I have the sides of this uh, 10 by 10 wooden panel taped off. So after my first resin, I will pull off the sides of the tape. And then I will do a quick flood on top of my finish just to get those wooden sides to shine up the rest of the way. Here I'm trying some swipes just to open up um, some of this paint and get some movement going. And I love this blue that's kind of showing up as I'm moving around that deep green in the upper left corner. So there's a lot of color underneath.
But you'll see nothing I'm doing is really bringing it up or aids the composition in any way. At this point, I'm so determined to make this piece work. Uh, again, I'm trying to blow out. And you can see as I'm opening up small spots in this large white area, all the colors that are underneath it. more swipes and at this point I just start playing just I have nothing to lose right so let's see what can I do with this more blowing More swiping. All right, about this point, I realize what I'm doing is not accomplishing anything that I want, and I'm making mud. So we're going to try doing a full swipe. All right, here comes my full swipe, <laughs> the first anyway. I'm just using a bit of a mailer. And I'm just pulling down some iridescent white to see how this is gonna react. And then I decide to lay down just a little bit more color so that I get a little more reaction. So I'm adding some green and some gold, just sporadically, no set pattern. And then I'm going to lay that beautiful metallic blue and use that as my swiping color. Just spreading that out, and now I'm using a wet paper towel, which is my favorite uh, tool to use to swipe. Just remember when swiping to go slow so that everything stays connected and you're actually moving the paint how you want to. I'm going to torch, and you can see right away some of those cells start popping up. cleaning up my sides. I don't want um, my artwork to get pulled over the sides, so I'm making sure there are no drips around the edges. And I'm just doing a little tilting just so the lines aren't as straight. I like the little bit of movement.
quick touch up to some of the edges a last tilt and look at what we've got I hope you enjoyed this video and the process and this is our completed resin piece thank you for watching